issue of a newspaper called the San Francisco Bulldog. It's an online thing. I spent the last 10 years watching very closely, watching Peskin for one, watching all of your elected officials. I'm retired. I'm an ex-firefighter. I'm an ex-school teacher. I have a master's in special education. So what I do for love is I write and I watch. I watch elected officials. I watch every damn contract that they drag through, and I watch them over and over and over again, and I complain. I doubt there's anybody on this board of supervisors who speak to me. Aaron, as he came in, told me to go sexually intercourse myself. That was not exactly right. Stop. Stop. That's it. And please, you guys, come on. Don't I get a minute, though? That was a minute. Okay. That was a minute. <laughs> One minute. You get a minute. You got a minute. You got a red card. You got a red card. I'm going to go ahead. That's never the same. No personal. Well, he did. If, if, if we do create your personal attack, I will stop you. That's right. And if you do it twice, we're going to ask you to leave. We really want to hear about the issues tonight. Okay. Thank you. 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 Okay, go ahead. Sorry. Uh, thank you. My name is Claudine Chang. Uh, I was born in Hong Kong. I have since 1981 in San Francisco, my home. I am running for District 3 supervisor because I care not very much about the district where I have lived for the last 20 years. I am a lawyer by training, but I have not been successful in building a practice because I spent most of my time during the last 15, 20 years on working with my friends and many, many nonprofit organizations in the community. So uh, I'm very passionate about bringing my experience of the last 20 years to see what I can do to work with all of you and others not in this room uh, to make sure that we can leave this city and our district, our district three, a very special uh, spot, a very unique spot like Supervisor Peskin has referred to a much more perfect, even more perfect place for us to live. Thank you. Good evening. My name is Tony Gantner. Uh, you told us two minutes, but I'll go with one. Sorry. Okay. Uh, I, I happen to believe that politics at its core is about compassion. I also believe, although it sounds a little platonic, that politics should be the practice of ethics. I'm an environmentalist. I can get into that more later, I hope, if I have the time. Uh, I believe that compassion for the environment is as compassion for our fellow human beings and that the rights of the environment are equal to civil and human rights. The question was uh, presented about in your email about district elections. Of course, I support those, uh, and I think they're fairly popular throughout the city. My basic platform is Safe, Clean, Green Streets for a Livable City. You can find my uh, statement over there. Uh, I put out a paper. My second edition just came out. Uh, I, I cover all the issues in District 3. I'm the only person running in District 3, and as far as I know, throughout the city, it's actually publishing a paper, giving you the opportunity to do critical political thinking. I respect you, and I hope you vote for me. Thank you very much. Hello, I'm Denise McCarthy. And for the last uh, 25 years, I've uh, lived and worked in the district and ran the Telegraph Hill Neighborhood Center, which provided uh, direct services to children, youth, seniors, families, uh, and was very, very involved in community organizing um, and planning. Uh, I'm running because I want to continue this work uh, and my work in the community uh, at the level of the Board of Supervisors. My basic issues are affordable, safe, affordable housing, uh, public housing, uh, issues of education, uh, public uh, safety, uh, community policing, and uh, fair and equitable uh, land use planning that includes uh, mitigation for the community. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> my stuff is over there, too. Hello. My name is Wilma Pang, and um, I'm a trained opera singer. <laughs> but what are you seeing here is a living, breathing artist. I believe art is very important in District 3. Back in the days, 1950s and 60s, I remember North Beach used to be the art center, the Bohemians, the jazz clubs. And in Chinatown, it was really uh, a hub of uh, culture. What happened now? I see empty storefronts. I said, why not talk about empty storefronts having the artists living there for 
or convert into some kind of art center. And um, I believe that we need theater, especially in Chinatown. We used to have five. Now we don't have any. Why I'm running? Because I am an artist, and I believe art is very important that will bring revenue to the city. Hold them up, we'll come get them from you. I'm sorry, please go ahead. Hi everybody, my name is Sal Buzalaki, and I've heard it all. I was born and raised in North Beach. My father and grandfather were fishermen. I've seen it all. I've seen all the beatniks and bohemians and the changes in North Beach. I'm running on a fiscally uh, 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 budget balancing the, the budget. Excuse me, I'm a little nervous. Um, Right now, for every $19 the city makes, they spend 20 And I believe that if we balance the budget, we can save millions of wasted dollars that can be used for under quality, underfunded quality of life issues, such as maintaining our streets and parks, keeping our libraries current, embracing music and arts program, keeping the historic integrity of our neighborhoods, enjoying our open space, and getting more police to walk the streets. Uh, I also want to do and streamline the, the uh, transit system. The more people we get to use the transit system and get some of these cars off the street, the more we'll have room for bicycle lanes as well. Uh, I hope uh, by amount of time uh, you will find more information on the side. I can't possibly tell you the amount of issues that I have that I want to fix in this city. Thank right, you. Right. Good evening. My name is David Chu, and I am so honored to be here in what I think of as the most politically important club here in San Francisco. I also want to thank the Harvey Milk Club for having endorsed me in the DCCC race in June. This past weekend, we had the most exciting and largest Pride weekend ever. And as I was thinking about this celebration, I was thinking about how far this community has come. But we all know, as Harvey Milk said, that the fight is not over. Now, I am honored to be the one candidate in this race who has been endorsed not just by my supervisor, Aaron Peskin, but Tom Amiano. Uh, we're not, we're not the staff No, 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 I'm sorry. I thought that we could refer to our own endorsements. No, but I mean, well, no, we, I mean we, can, we can say whatever he wants this minute, Captain. We can say whatever he wants. Isn't that a personal opinion? Yeah, I'm a person, and then allow yeah. me a person. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. Thank you. Uh, we said at the very beginning of the rule was not to Okay. I apologize. I thought that was not to you. Okay. Um, issues. So, I wasn't, I over, over the past 12 years, I have been fighting for tenants as a chair of the largest affordable housing organization in District 3. I've been fighting for immigrants as a chair of Matt Gonzalez's campaign to allow immigrant parents to vote in school board elections. I've been a neighborhood association leader fighting to make sure that developments are appropriate for our neighborhoods. I've been fighting for equal rights. I've been fighting against the death penalty good, for many good. years. Good, good. Sorry. And I hope we'll have an opportunity to talk about all these things because I think it's important for all of us to talk about how we're going to move Thank this you, community and our values forward. Thank you. Good evening. Thank you for inviting me. I'm Mike Nunzio. I'm the former president of Community Counseling Service. I've spent a career working for better health care, education, social, cultural projects in District 3 and throughout our city. Mayor Newsom, Mayor Brown, Governor Schwarzenegger have appointed me to uh, city and state commissions, uh, always working for uh, social issues, elderly, human services. I run a business, met a payroll, I know how to protect budgets, budgets so that we can have the essential funds for the elderly, for the disadvantaged, and for the poor who I've been working for uh, all of my life. And if I am elected, I can assure you, you will have a supervisor who will always be working and respecting the dignity of every human being in this city. Thank you. Good evening. Thank you very much for having me. Uh, this is probably one of the biggest moments in my life. I never thought I would get here. But one thing I wanted to address in the very beginning. Mr. Peskin, you can't be replaced, sir. You can't be replaced. Don't worry. If we are lucky enough to learn something from what your past was, then we'll move on. 
I want to thank everybody on the panel because we're all here for the same purpose. We're here to take care of our neighborhood, the community of San Francisco. I'm not from San Francisco. I've been here from Earl, oh, excuse me. My name is Earl Thibodeau. I've been in San Francisco for 15 years. Those 15 years have been spent in North Beach. I have worked in the Tenderloin. I've worked throughout San Francisco. So I can't really say that I'm from San Francisco, but I can tell you one thing I can see as an outsider. You have one of the most beautiful cities in the world. You have the ability to change the world. This is, whoops. anyway, we'll talk later. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you.